Hello everybody, it's Jen. I am back with another design team project for Not Too Shabby Shop. Today I'm using the Picket Fence stamp called Jill Girl. I'm using the Sunny Studio embossing folder called Cable Knit, which I'm in love with, and the Echo Park Coffee paper pad. All of these things I got at the Not Too Shabby Shop. I think Jamie's shop is still down at the moment as she gets ready to revamp the website and provide you all with a better shopping experience. I'm so excited to see the new website, but I wanted to get this video up in the meantime. I absolutely adore this stamp. I really believe that Picket Fence Studios has one of the most, if not the most, gorgeous girl image stamps in terms of realism. So I set this uh, a little bit speedy because there's lots of coloring today. I have all the colors out to the left hand side. I am using the piece of paper as a guide for the colors that I chose for coloring her. She was actually really quite simple to color. I'm not great at hair. I still feel like I need a lot of practice, but I love the way her hair turned out and it was fairly simple. I started with the darkest, which was E57. I went in with the midtone E35, and then to finish it off, I used E33. So for the embossed cardstock, I used a very pale, kind of like an ivory color, and so once I move on to her knitted scarf and uh, mug cozy. I'm going to use light beige colors or ivory colors as uh, my guide to fit with the embossed cardstock that I used. I felt like I had a hard time getting that out. So here's the colors that I'm using E33, and I'm using it sparingly, although I wish I had used it even more sparingly. My midtone for her knitwear is E53 and then E51 for the lightest. I'm actually going to leave some white spots in it amongst the image here where uh, I'm coloring the knitwear just to make it look very light and fluffy and cozy. I really love this color combination. It turned out really pretty. So I'm just going over with the E51 and you can see I'm just kind of dabbing it here and there. I also wanted to be careful because I find with these really light Copic shades that the ink, no matter what ink you use, can sometimes bleed. So I was just being really careful. Once I got her scarf done and her mug cozy, I felt like I wanted to bring in a little bit more uh, dark shades into her hair just so you could really see the difference of where her hair is against her clothing. So I brought in the E27 and then going back over with the E57 just to blend that in a little. I love how this turned out. Her hair is gorgeous. Talk about hair goals. And so I really like the way that that ended up. For her clothing, there is some pink flowers in the paper that I'm using. So I chose R85, R83, and R81. I'm just going to mark down the darkest spots here where the shadows would be. So under her hair, around and under the scarf, where her arm meets her body, and then around the mug and her mittens. So then I'm going in with the midtone, the R83, and I'll blend that out with the R81. I'd love to know if you are a coffee drinker. I, I've said this before, I have a lot of new subscribers though. So I will share that I've never actually had a sip of coffee in my life. So I love coffee images. I like everything to do with coffee, the smell, but I've never had it before. I am a tea drinker and the odd uh, hot chocolate when it's cool outside. 
But let me know below if you are a coffee lover, if you can't live without it, uh, if you drink it only some of the time, how do you drink it? I will have some more coffee cards coming up this month, so stay tuned for that. You saw there I gave her a little bit of pink eyeshadow with the R81. Now I'm going in with the YG97 for the mug and the cuffs of her mittens. There's also a red color in the pattern paper that I'm using. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out with the pink and the green. I didn't want the mittens to look like this was a Christmas card, although it totally could be a Christmas card. And I wasn't sure how the red was going to go with the pink, but I do really like this color combination because it's kind of the R24 and the R22 is more of a rosy red, uh, like a pinkish color in my opinion. I'm going to do the tip to tip here just to blend that out more smoothly and I really like the way that looks. This red matches the red in the pattern paper that I'm going to use nicely. And once I get that done, I'm going to, I decided to bring in the R24 to give her some brighter lipstick. I did go over it uh, with the R20 when I did her cheeks, but I wanted it to bring in the red for the mittens a little bit more. So I'm going to fussy cut her out leaving a thin white border and here's the pattern paper that I'm using. So I cut that out with a stitched oval die. I've embossed my panel here with the cable knit embossing folder and I'm die cutting that with the scalloped die from my blueprints package that I use all the time. I wanted to make sure that there was a bit of white and I'm still fighting with my Nouveau glue. Had to stop and pause the video and unclog it and then we were good to go. If you've watched a few of my last videos, you know I've been struggling with that and I can't figure out why because my first bottle never did it, like not once. So I'm not sure what's up. Anyhow, um, here's a do as I say, not as I do. I totally ripped that panel. I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to uh, score this so it was a little bit more flat, but I should have flipped it over and done it on the back. I It was a loss of judgment for a moment. So here's how the card is going to be structured. I wanted to use this cut apart from the paper pad that says follow your heart but always bring coffee. and. I thought I was going to use it on the front, but realized once I started getting this card together that it wasn't going to place anywhere that was appealing to the eye. So I'm going to add that to the inside of the card. So just trying to get this straight. I think I finally do here once I get this down for the final time. But I was saying I wanted to leave a little bit of a white border because the there's the white outline around the image and there was no other white on the front of the card so that's why I chose the scalloped border die which leaves the slightest little bit of a border from the card base. I'm just going to adhere the cut apart on the inside. Then I decide to add a piece of the paper to the inside as well just to bring that pretty floral from the outside to the inside. So I'm just going to adhere that down to the bottom of the inside card base. I think that looks really pretty. Just something fun for when the recipient opens the card. And then I decided that I was going to, that went really fast, uh, I was going to add a heart because when I read the sentiment that says follow your heart, I realized there was no heart at all on the card and so I thought it would be cute to add one to the inside of the mug and when I was fussy cutting this at first I was going to leave a white border and then I decided not to because I'm going to put it on the mug. So this little heart I just grabbed the first one I could find. This is from Octopi My Heart by Lawn Fawn. This is an older release. I just wanted an outline heart stamp. It didn't matter to me which one it was. I'm just going to edge this with my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker just so that you can't tell that it was actually fussy cut. It gives it a really nice straight edge. 
and I'm going to adhere that right down into the middle of the mug and I love how it ties in the red from the pattern paper and from her mittens. Just got a little bit of glue there that I'm just cleaning up with the tip of my scissors. I'm going to add some Morning Dew Nouveau drops to her eyes and also to the heart. And then I decided to add it to her lips as well to give her a little bit of glossy lipstick. And that will finish off the card. So I hope you've enjoyed this card. It was a lot of coloring, uh, but I really love the way that it turned out. Here's a close-up of how she looks. Stunning. And here's a close-up of the inside of the card. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you really soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.